with all these like, you know, mid twenties, mid thirties, mid forties, whatever it is, and let's just lift each other up by our, you know, by our each other's shirts. Yeah. It's like whenever I'm getting up, then I'm bringing you up with me, and the rising tide raises all ships. That's You've genuinely said that a ton over the years. Well, it's too. it's so true for marketing too, but that's my heart, and that's that's one of the things that we talked about with your personal brand is that, you know, once you're accomplished and you actually are a subject matter expert, mm -hmm. then begin working on your personal brand and investing in that. So let's talk about the brass tacks. You can share some real numbers, I think, with what does it take to invest in your personal brand, dollars and cents. I mean, let's just take a piece. When you started your videography sort of... Me? Yeah, whenever you started doing videos, what did it cost you to, to invest in that? Nothing. What did it cost you? It had cost you something. I mean, like a, what do you mean? Like a tripod or something? I mean, the camera? Did you buy a camera or what'd you do? No, I used my phone Okay. back then. And then it evolved into what? Then you put. But I didn't know what it was doing. True. But but you learn along the way. Okay. okay. So there's something to be said for that. Some people want to learn quicker. That's why we help them. Uh, but it doesn't mean you have to give anybody money. It just means that I was consistently putting out videos. Or for instance, I was training, I, was, I had a local mentorship program. I had this weekly training call. And every week I would train local insurance agents. And I had a few remote ones or whatever, but I would, mostly local, but I would record it and then put it up on YouTube. And my two most popular videos, organic videos, used to be for a while, was weekly insurance training call number seven and weekly insurance training call number eight. That's one was on how to door knock to sell insurance and one was about how to cold call to generate insurance leads. And those two did very well on YouTube. And so most people found me because of those videos yep. for the first couple years. Now, that's not true anymore. They probably still find them, but they're, they're old and they're not even that good anymore. But the point is, I was just putting out content every week, not realizing where it was going to go. It wasn't self-serving at all. I didn't monetize anything for the first 13 months. It didn't matter. I was just like, I kind of enjoy helping other people yeah. and I love our industry, so why not give back? And I did, and it... It worked. You became a person of interest. Yeah. You became someone that people are interested in talking with. Without, I, without that ever being the point, by the way. No doubt. Well, it started with an iPhone with zero expense, and now... I was propping now up... Now look at what we have. Yeah. Right? You got a video, You got two videographers. You got, what, $12,000 equipment back there, Dylan? How much? Uh, I mean, a lot more than that. 